Uh, uh, okay, uh, let me just do the thing. Let me find the... Hang on. Just had it. Uh, okay, whenever you're ready, Captain. Oh, dearie. Okay, uh, Captain's Log started 54299.7. The Hadfield has just arrived at Earth's space dock with the rest of the 10th fleet. This detour was unexpected, but then again, so was the entire fleet battling against the Archon. We are to undergo repairs and refits following the Archon standoff, but we're being handled by an entire corps of engineers. In the meantime, my crew has been granted 10 whole days of shore leave. Uh, end log. Okay. Awesome. Let me... Just for reference, how much is a core of engineers? Uh, no, 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 not a core. The Starfleet core of engineers. I was gonna say, I think a core is like 2,000 people. Yeah. Nice. I, I think that's more than the Hadfield has literal space to fit ship. in. Yeah, we can fit in like 80, maybe, at, at most. Uh, at least 12. Our, our crew complement is like 85, and I think we might be able to squeeze in like 20 more. That's about it. If we have the cargo containers, we can oh, like, carry a lot. Right, no, no, no. It's, it's one of those things of, no, no, no. The Starfleet Corps of Engineers is is a, orga a Starfleet organization that is all about engineering. Yeah. They handle like all the major engineering projects and... So, I was going to say, the ship was really big compared to the Starbase. <laughs> I know. I know. I don't need your sass. <laughs> That's what you think. Okay. Oh, in addition to all that, however, uh, there are a few other ships in orbit, uh, such as... On. Keep a bit smaller. That's the um which one? That's uh the monarch. There's also uh I'm trying to remember some of the others. Um the uh, Tereshkova. It's also there, but I don't have the token for it right now, so whatever. Also, Kismet. I know what it has... class? Huh? Sorry. I was going to ask, what class um, are the Monarch and the Kismet? Um, monarch is a Sovereign. Mm, that's so... the one from um, the TNG movies? Yep. Enterprise okay. E mm -hmm. is, is a Monarch. Uh, the Kismet is a Luna class. You never act. I don't think you ever actually see one on screen. Mm. Um, but when Riker becomes a captain, uh, the ship that he captains is a uh, is a Luna class. Cool. And that's that's how that goes. Uh, so everyone is currently uh docked at earth space dock um doctor you have been so busy the past few days you've been treating both familiar crew members and strangers alike as uh in the wake of the archon fleet action which um uh the hatfield did take on some damage during that fleet action however uh for the most part uh, the Hadfield got got off fairly uh, fairly light. Right. So what's the butcher's bill? Uh, butcher's bill. Uh, fortunately, no one no one from the Hadfield's crew complement at least died. There were some serious injuries, and well, I'm not gonna lie when I say that some that there are gonna be at least two or three crew members that are gonna have to transfer off to undergo long-term medical observation um, on on Starbase, but um, no one died, at least out of the Hadfield's crew complement. Same cannot be said for 
maj- a lot of the other ships in the fleet. Most um, other sh- most other ships that were as part of that engagement uh, lost at least one hand. There were a few ships that were completely destroyed, and some that were heavily damaged. I, I think the total death total was like seven or eight thousand. Damn. Um, um, Wolf three five nine two point zero. Uh, no, not that bad, because I think they said it was like seven or 8,000 out of, I think the estimate was like 60,000 men and women, prob- and, uh, and other, probably. I see. Huh? And other. <laughs> Nothing. Um, it's like the crew of like one galaxy class plus a bit, so it's not that awful. <clears throat> so, uh, um, so all things considered in a in a engagement of 60,000 individuals, a crew of 80, a uh, rather small number. So um so who has to be transferred off of our ship? Um I'll say again given that things are things are well enough, um no one named. Okay. I thought you were going to say this got horribly injured again or something. Oh no. god. Yeah, no, no, no. no, no, no. If, no, no, no. If, things, if, thing, if things had gone worse, uh, yeah. I, I might have transferred off someone. Fair enough. But uh, you guys did uh, the the fleet action, at least as far as the ship combat went, went okay. And you didn't have anyone down on the planet's surface. The same cannot be said for Commander Pend, who was I, I believe he led that away team and he almost died and is currently comatose oh my gosh yeah you can uh, oh, well. you, can, uh you can thank blackwell for saving him oh well that's what you get when you lead stuff you get a bullet <laughs> in the brain mm. i'm just waiting for mine now yeah so uh so starting question is there anything um uh, is there anything that you guys would like to do? My phaser rifle. Ah, yes. So time to hop into the... <laughs> uh, boy, we had all this bookkeeping that we did before the session. <laughs> now we're doing more bookkeeping as we handle <laughs> all these extended tasks. <laughs> uh, that's the engineering think is where I had you working on this. Is that right? Uh, I think so. Yeah. Uh, this'll do. Um, let me pull up Starship Ambience and... Is that really oh. it for our engineering section? Huh? Is that really it for our um, engineering section? Yeah, I mean, the Nova's a small ship. Alright, yeah, that's fair. not the size that matters yeah. it's how yeah. you apply it yeah doesn't need to be that big uh so um Jueza, do you have the uh the stats for that extended task again because it has been a while uh i don't remember the exact stats exactly i know i was just about done because i had a breakthrough last time so I believe the difficulty was one at this point. Yeah. Or probably control engineering, difficulty one. Mm, I, I think the work track might have been like 10 or something. And you, yeah, you, you were... said more than likely I'd probably finish it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I recall. <clears throat> so uh, roll of control engineering, difficulty one. Now, can I use uh, any of my focuses in heavy weaponry? Uh, yes, I will absolutely say that applies here. Okay. Actually, um, GM, I think I found what I want to do for my um, uh, swapped out talent. Uh, okay, just uh, ping oh, yeah, me. Yeah, we can do this after. Yeah, or you can just message it to me in the Discord. All right, cool. Um, so, yeah, roll six challenge dice. Okay. <laughs> wow. Can I give you a threat to reroll? I, I don't know if you can. That's an ouch. Yikes. Uh I don't know if you can actually do that. Let me let me look. Let me 
Man, I'm just opening my rule book all sorts today. God damn, dude, out of out of six dice, you only wow. rolled one positive. That's that's rough. shit. That's rough. That's a rough roll. Um, I was getting him out of the way. Yeah. <laughs> No, that's that's certainly possible. It's it's one of those. Oh boy, now I really wish I knew the the value of that um that extended task because it's entirely possible that you failed it. <laughs> um, extended task has a difficulty. Extended task and momentum. Um, I think it's only momentum spends. I think you can only use momentum spends on e extended tasks. Okay. There will be more yes, opportunities. Yes. Indeed. Mm -hmm. Um, it, it's one of those. It's rough because I can't remember what you were at before, and I really hoped you would would have keep in track, uh, kept track of that. Luckily, uh, we have a video log on YouTube. Can't we just watch those videos? And yeah, if you, uh, yeah, Jueza, if you want to go and check the video for that episode, it is up on YouTube. Uh, sure. Can you give me the link to the uh, channel? Uh, yeah. Let me. It's just called this hunt for you. Uh, hang on. Let me find it. I can. I can find it for him. Cause oh. he's a, a wonderful to, GM. I need to name that episode again. Uh, I didn't. I didn't properly rename it to episode number and title. Oh. Hmm, do you actually have Command 3 to buy that? Yeah, I do. I have Command exactly 3. Awesome! Are you cool with it? Yeah, I'm totally cool with that. I Hell, I have that. That's a great talent. Awesome. Um, uh, let me message this to you, Jueza. And you can tell me whether or not two work is enough to finish the task. Okay. Because it might have been one of those things where you did well last time, and I said, oh, well, if you do well like that again next time, you'll be fine. Oh, uh, and the ship should also assist with uh, computers engineering. Coming up. So, actually, you might have an opportunity to, to get some uh, some momentum that you could spend to re-roll. You do. Do you want to re-roll those five zeros? Sure. <laughs> Go for it. Did he roll five right, zeros? So rolling five. Watch me get all zeros. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I'm gonna say that's probably enough. <laughs> rolling like a pro today. Whew. Wow. That's that's rough. That's rough, buddy. In the in in the words of uh Prince Zuko. That's rough, buddy. Um, now to Zonin. So uh, you you complete the extended task. Um, oh boy, I. Uh, uh, do you remember what focus you had selected for this job? You know, you're probably gonna have to go back and rewatch the entire that that bit where you did it because I just don't remember any of this. Yep, that's what I'm trying to do right now. So we'll come back to this shortly. Um, okay. Uh, Tazonin, do you remember where you were at? As in, like my location on the ship? No, or... no, 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 no. Where you were at? <laughs> where you were at in your respective extended task? Oh, no, I don't. I don't I need Falak to do that, though. I was going to... Uh, well, you don't need him to do that, but... Well, just ever... because this player isn't literally here, yeah. can't we just roll a check for him as a character? Uh, I'm going to say no to that. Okay. I object. Yeah. <laughs> just, yeah. Oh, dear. Like, you don't... You, oh, don't, have that you don't get to object. this. I'm just gonna go back through old... I'm gonna go back through old chat logs. 
because that that might work. I'd be going surprised. back forever and yeah. ever. It's one of those if, if you don't remember what the if you don't remember what the numbers were for that I I don't I especially for this I I can't in good conscience continue with the extended task if we don't remember what any of the stats for it were I think I think Veloc is the one who had all the details on that yeah that sounds like him. So, which sucks because this is going to be the week where I wanted to do this stuff. Uh, can you guys hear me? Ah, I might I might be in some actual trouble here depending on Come on. Okay, I'm still live by the looks of things. But Discord is kind of crashing. That's a bad thing. This is awesome. This is this is my favorite thing about running Star Trek Adventures to anyone who's listening. This is this is awesome. Just just awesome. We add zero. Oh, there we go. And uh, I needed uh, four work. Uh, which means you succeeded then. Bum bum. Oh wow, that was that was rough. Uh, so yeah, you succeeded. Um, I think it's in fact it sounds like you only just succeeded. Yeah. Um, Although we will have one momentum left because we both got a one. And it was a difficulty yep. zero. Ah, okay. So it was only a difficulty zero. I couldn't remember. Oh, my God. Not again. Yep. Uh, my, my, uh, my computer is just bugging out right now. because I made the horrible mistake of trying to load the chat logs for for the roll 20 uh, and I didn't so that's how you died. and I didn't realize just how many how long these chat logs are yeah yeah you've got the whole uh, arc missions in there now 
Yeah. No, no, no. It's it is a hundred and twenty-two pages of 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 chat logs. Honestly, I would have thought a lot longer, considering how long this thing's been going on and how many messages are sent. Yeah. <laughs> and it's like. It's worse because now I can't get back over to the tab that I want. Because <clears throat> Firefox is just dying. Yep. Ugh, great. Oh my god, internet. Uh -huh. I swear to god, I only ever have internet problems when we're playing this game. I know, right. Like... That is just my luck. Um, Tazonin, have you managed to figure out anything about that extended task? Nope. Pretty sure Vlock was the one that was keeping the records. Okay. Well, in that... Uh, here, I found yours as well on the video last time. Yeah, I was going to say, uh, in that case, um, I might do the next short little scene that I want to do with the captain. Um, That's fine. And then we can come back around to you, Thizonin, when Joeza comes up with where you were last time. The doctor and I also want to run a scene at some point. Oh, great. Um, something, uh, you have, um, uh... We got it all planned out. Okay, great. Uh, let me just see. Uh, wh where do you want to do that? Wherever you can fit us in. Okay, um... Uh, it's more of a. I'm just trying. Uh, in in, in re could you ping me in regards to what? Uh, we're gonna have a therapy session. Ah, great. Okay. Yeah, that that works. Uh, just fine. What? Uh, you guys can do that now if you want. Yeah, sure. I'm up for it. Uh, you can do that in the quarters. mid bay. No, my quarters. Uh, I would I would move you guys over there if Firefox would stop dying. Oh, damn you, Firefox. I, hey, I, hey, might... I mean, the software of a uh, warp engine is like the perfect place to hold a therapy session, I promise. Uh, you know what? I am just gonna close, <laughs> I am just gonna force Firefox to close and then reopen it because that's, that's, that's how you do it. That's rough. I, uh, guess I can feel the vibrations from the warp engine tickling my inside. So, yes. Uh, I'll, I'll move you guys over to the proper screen as soon as I do it, but in the meantime, Doc and Captain, feel free to do your scene. How do you want to do this? Do you want to start off in my office? Uh, see how that... Sure. Okay. Um, go. <laughs> Wait, Rugan, give us some sound effects. <laughs> Hit the ding dong. Okay. Oh god. <laughs> not oh, that god. one, not that one. Again. Oh, but not that back into the past. Oh god. Uh, fine. Alright, uh yeah, come in. And as you come into the uh well, not the captain's quarters, but the ready room, you'll see me on my couch. Eyes closed, lying down. Are you ready, sir? Yes, let's just get it over with. Have a seat. All right. Rough. I'm going to have a seat, and I'll probably have, like, a, um, a pad that I'm pressing buttons on to write notes yep. as we talk. Got, like, a little... Got one of them little pads. So, how are you feeling? Isn't that your job to tell me? I can't tell you anything until you tell me. How do you feel, Doctor? Honestly? <laughs> Exhausted? Um, this is some of the most stress I've ever been in my entire life. But um, I'm incredibly relieved that nobody on the Headfield had to die. Well, I suppose that makes two of us then.
Was there anything in specific we had to talk about, Doc? Um, not necessarily. I, I just wanted to check in on you and make sure you were doing okay and you were uh, mentally well and you weren't having any issues because I know you have a history with the Archon. Oh, yes. You've read Dr. Blackwell's report, correct? Yes, sir. And tell me, what did you conclude from that? Am I a mentally unstable? That did seem to be the case when you first arrived on my ship. Or, well, you did recommend psychiatric evaluation for all of us. I, I will say this. I do not think you are unfit for duty. There are some things that concern me, if I'm being honest. But I think they are all manageable, so long as you treat them in a healthy way. Well, we're having an open conversation right now, so go ahead, tell me, what's wrong with me? In your professional medical opinion, of course, and then later, if you so choose, in your personal opinion. Well, you are highly aggressive. Um, you tend to leap to conclusions. Um, and you have a serious case of alcoholism. Um, <laughs> I mean, sure, I guess. You can say that. Do you disagree, sir? Well, um... <laughs> um, this is the first time I've laughed in weeks. Oh, dear. Um, it's refreshing to hear. I mean, yes, I agree with some of those things, but I wouldn't say I have a too big of a problem. I can stop at any time. Really, sir? You could? Yes, doctor, I could. Do you think you could go all ten days of shore leave without having one glass of alcohol? Uh, is that a challenge, doctor? It is not. It is a question. Well, I'm going to refuse that because it is my shore leave and I get to do what I want. So if you wanted to get Chris drunk, you could. I, I was just asking. T technically, I could, yes. That's, look, it's not even the alcohol that's that big of a problem. It's just, it sometimes takes the pain away. I'll the synth hall on this ship does nothing. It tastes like cardboard. But sometimes, you know, I like to enjoy a bit of the real thing. Just a little bit. You, you have to understand where I come from. It wasn't... I wasn't allowed, ever. I was supposed to be the perfect role model, the perfect child. And therefore, this perfect child didn't have a very fun youth. Like most uh, young people do. So... Is that where your trauma comes from? Your parents, your family, your youth? Trauma? And I, that, that's, a, that's a strong word to use, but... My apologies. How would you like to frame it? I, <laughs> you're putting me on the spot here, Doc. I, I don't know. I... Okay, you don't have to talk about anything you don't want to talk about. I'm simply here to help you. <sighs> well... It's just, I didn't have what everyone else had when they were growing up. I lived in the shadow of my two brothers, basically my entire youth. That's why I have this desire to constantly prove myself, to go out of my way to make something happen, to be aggressive, if you will. You also have to keep in mind, I spent a lot of time with Romulans during the Dominion War on a dip as a diplomatic envoy. It's, uh, yeah, it's, the, the Romulans are funny people. You could frame it like that. But, but sir, you have accomplished plenty well on your own. You are a captain of a starship. Um, it, it, simply getting into Starfleet is um, an accomplishment in of itself. You, you made it all the way up to captain. And if you continue on your track, you could become an admiral someday. Um, 
<laughs> oh, I, I highly doubt that, Doctor. Admiralty is currently the farthest thing from my reach. I would. How old are you, sir? Uh, that's a good question. I haven't kept track of that in a long time. Computer, how old? Are you? I don't know. No. <laughs> how old is he? I'll check. You now. are at least twelve. <laughs> I will check now. Hang on. Sorry. At least twelve. At most thirty-five. Oh dear God, me. Uh, uh, it, well, it that, says somewhere here on my wiki page. Hang on. I was gonna say, well, it has a quote that you said when you were twenty-five, but I doubt you are twenty-five. What what is the current year? Um, it is tw um twenty three seventy six. Twenty three seventy seven. Let me do some quick math here. That's boom, boom, three rah, rah. and another twenty. Uh, twenty seven. Hang the hang the heck on. I need a calculator for this. I'm dumb. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. It's that big a deal. We can skip it. <laughs> no, 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 I, I must know how old I am. <laughs> 2377 minus 2347. Yeah, 30. There you go. Oh, Jesus. That's young. Yeah, one of, uh, that makes you, that makes you one of Starfleet's youngest. For, for reference, um, I, I, Therese is 28, and she's like three ranks below you. Well, uh, thank you, computer, for telling me my age, but yes, there you go, doctor. I've, it, it's been a while since I've even kept track of my birthday. Everyone always seemed to forget it, so I thought might as well not celebrate the fact that I'm getting closer to death every year. Sir, you don't think you could ever become an admiral? even if you spent the next 40 years in Starfleet. Oh yes, simply because of the way I treated that one temporal aid. I hate the people, but eh. I think so I sealed my fate with that one. So you your problem with authority? Authority? I have no problem with authority. I have a problem with bad authority. Can you tell me the difference? Yes. Good authority is authority you're willing to follow, and that makes sense. Bad authority is the temporal agent. Hmm. But yes, sir, you shouldn't feel like you have to prove yourself. Uh, you're one of the most accomplished people in the current galaxy. If you are a captain, that will be 30 years old. <laughs> I would say that's an accomplishment if I were the captain of something like the Enterprise, then yes, well, definitely no, I, an accomplishment. I, I will say, in, in the history of Starfleet, there are only a few captains who have, who have made captain at that young. Uh, some of them including Captain Janeway, Captain Kirk, Captain Grennan. How Besides, Doctor, do you, do you know why... I got promoted to captain. You can tell me. Our old captain got pulled out of service. Just like that. Snap of a finger from Admiral Hebbard and he was gone. I didn't climb my way up here. I inherited it. There was nowhere to prove that I'm worthy enough to be a captain. You passed off the command test, no? I did. However, those command tests are not a good, in my opinion, not a good uh, indicator of what a certain person is capable of. What rank were you before you were promoted to captain? Commander. So, and how long ago were you promoted to captain? It's been about... Computer, how long has it been? I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm, tr I'm about trying six to come with this. The alcoholism has gotten to his brain. <laughs> uh, you've uh, probably you... been a captain for, I think, around seven or eight months. Thank you, computer. There you go. Seven to eight months. Yeah, the, the encephalopathy in my brain hasn't started to settle in yet. Uh, sir, 
Um, that means you made Commander, uh, 29 years oldish. Um, next year, or in a few months, I will be 29, and I'm only a junior grade lieutenant. You've made leaps and bounds more success than me. Do you think I need to prove myself? No, Doctor, you do not need to prove yourself. Your record speaks for itself. However, the feeling of inadequacy still is there. If I've accomplished all these things by the age of whatever I am right now, why do I keep living in the shadow of my brothers? That's a question we will have to work on. Uh, is my one hour up? Can I ask you one more thing? Go ahead, Doctor. You do not have to answer, but I would like to know your history with the Archon AI. <sighs> Archon. Do you want the short version or the long version? Whichever you would prefer. Well, we were tasked with... Oh, crap, I can't recall what it is now, but... We were supposed to arrive in a system. The system had housed this Archon. It was basically an entire planet all on its own and the AI core in the center of this planet. The, the story behind it is very complex and, well, you can check the ship's record for it, but this AI wanted to erase all life of ours because we erased all life of its. Uh, vendetta, if you will, declared on the entirety of humanity for something that our ancestors did a hundred years ago. So, yeah. Um, once we arrived there, Captain Grennan and myself uh, were tasked with finally destroying the Archon. However, I believed that there could have been an alternate way. I believe that there could have been a better way to solve this than to erase an entire memory of a singular people with bombs or explosives. There was even talk of a warp core ejection. I don't even. In any case, um, talk proved fruitless. However, I was stubborn. And this stubbornness cost several people on my ship their lives and turned Commander Volok to mutiny, causing him to knock me out and assume command of the ship before it had to be almost scuttled. We managed to get out, but the wounds still resonate within me, and I don't know if Captain Grennan himself has ever forgiven me for not completing the objective and trying to be an idiot, trying to do something that's virtually impossible. It, it haunts me to this day, and... The fact that I couldn't be the one to pull the trigger on that AI will live with me for the rest of my years. She just sits there in stunned silence. Do you understand now, Doctor, why I drink? Why I like to be alone in my quarters? Why I refuse these counseling sessions? If I had to guess, because you wrongfully believe that you are beyond beyond repair. Am I not beyond repair? I don't think anyone is beyond repair, sir. For someone of my age to have suffered this much trauma, Doctor, do you think it is natural? Do you not think I should have been doing something else more peaceful? Be home with my family, perhaps? Make amends with my mother and my father. Uh, GM, we're in, uh, Starbase over Earth, right? Yeah, you are. Jacoby, where's your father? Where does your family live? In England, Doctor. Would you like to make amends with them now? I, I, I don't think that they would welcome me. <sighs> I know that feeling. It, it was, it was complicated when we split. And if I were to suddenly show up at their doorstep, captain or not of Starfleet, I think I would be kicked out of my own home. 
Truth is, Doctor, I have no home but this ship. I know that feeling, sir. Does this answer some of your questions? It does, and I do still believe you need several therapy sessions because you appear to have um, very low self-esteem and a problem with your self-image that I think can be worked on and eventually maybe even solved. I see your point, and I think I can work with you under one exception, if you will allow me that. Name your price. Don't tell the crew. Uh, of course. All, all meetings are confidential, sir. Good. Well, I got that taken care of. Would you mind giving me a second alone, Doctor? Yes, sir. And I'll get up and walk out. And a lone tear descends down my cheek. I was AFK for most of that confession, so oh, I actually man. don't know what happened. Ooh, that, was, that was heavy. <laughs> I'm gonna be the one guy that actually doesn't know. <laughs> oh, that was that was that was that was heavy. Yeah. That was, that was good. Um, yeah, okay, well, we're good to go on. <laughs> uh, okay, uh, I think we're good to move on to um, the zone Yeah. I tried my best to be a therapist, but I am, I do not have a degree in psychiatry, uh, so. That was awesome. Are you kidding? That was awesome. Really? Yeah. Oh. Well, thank you. Uh, so we right. cut down to Thazonin in uh, engineering as he continues his research. Currently smacking a hammer on the warp core. <laughs> I assume you got my message. Uh, yes, I did. Were you able to get down what the magnitude for this was? Uh, that I didn't hear. Ugh. I just heard that you're, it was progressing slowly and uh, you was at 7 out of 15 work. And that he got 2 work done last time. Yeah, and I think there's two resistance on this on this check. Yeah, unfortunately, it doesn't show the rolls on the the video. <laughs> oh, that's right. That's it was right. Science engineering or something. Uh, well, for you, it's it's uh, it's reason engineering or re reason con for you. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, it's reason con. I think. Difficulty of three. With a focus. With a focus, and the ship gets to help out with uh, computers engineering. Alright, so should we just roll that? Mm hmm. Boop. I think there is six challenge dice as well. Yeah, that'll be well, and the ship has to roll. You got to get a difficulty three. Don't forget, you do get to re-roll the ship because it's used to zone in. Awesome. Uh, who's gonna roll for the ship? I will. What do I have to roll? Sorry. Um, Hello. What um, do I have to roll? Uh, you have to roll uh, computers engineering. Uh, so. Not a. Uh, you can re-roll it though because it's the zone in. It's the zone in, right? Bless you, Sonny. <laughs> nope, nope. Unlucky. Uh, so that is a, that's a no. And let me look at the rule book because I might actually institute one of the complications that can occur on a, on an away, uh, on a uh, extended task. You no longer have warp drive. Congratulations. <laughs> I get uh, zapped that. by a couple thousand gigawatts. <laughs> well, then you did, boy. 
charge comes through the uh, warp core, and you, you now go what? through I'm, time backwards. You, you know what? I'm going. I'm going to do something very cruel to you, Zonin. No, not my brains. Um, I'm going to institute something on you called dead end. Unmark four points from the work track. Duh. That's evil. Back down to three. This project's never gonna work, guys. Let's just eat the warp core. Try all over again. Keep, keep at it, my dude. You'll get it. <laughs> By the way, for uh, those of us who were successful today, mm -hmm. uh, I'll go uh, over. I'll go over with you uh, the exact uh, ramifications of your success after the session. Okay. Um, or you might okay. want to look through the. Uh, the old videos, because I, I remember I specifically said that what the thing was going to do, I just really cannot remember right now. Okay. Um, uh, does anyone else have scenes they want to do? Rugan? Jueza? Nope. Nada? I think we're good. Okay. Um, uh, Jacoby, I assume at some point are you gonna be in uh, on the back on the bridge? Back on the bridge, sure. Uh, engineering crews are working on the bridge, or? Um, oh yes, uh, Starfleet Corps of Engineers. Uh, well, you've only just been in Starbase for about a day now, for a little less than a day. Okay. Um, um, which is. You know, even though you have a ten-day leave, you're you're allowed to remain on the ship for about a day. the The repair crews are currently at work repairing the damage from the battle, uh, but the full-on, because um, uh, there's going to be some refitting done. Uh, awesome. Uh, some refitting done specifically. I think uh, did did anyone increase anything on the ship? No, unfortunately. No one touch the ship. That's okay. That's okay. Unless Next we're time we get an arc milestone, I'd like to um, increase the ship's medicine score, but that's a no for the future. Yeah, and, and um, well, and we'll see. Valak might do something. Yeah. Um, so am I? Uh, am I on the bridge as well? Mm -hmm. So, uh, Captain, I uh, assume you uh, heard about that. Uh, drinking contest that uh, the other captains of the uh, ships that are in dock are uh, going to be holding. See uh, who has the uh, strongest uh, willed captain of for liquor. I will raise an eye. Are you pulling my leg, chief? Sir, would I ever joke yes. about alcohol? Yes, yes. <laughs> you would. He would, in fact. <laughs> I know you, Chief. You're not pulling my leg, are you? Sir, I am hurt. Yeah, well, go be hurt on your own time when you're not getting paid to be hurt. Yes, sir. I'll tell them that uh, you forfeit. I do not forfeit. Where is this? Well, it's in the uh, lounge and casino, sir. There supposedly going to be uh, holding it soon. Good. Can I pick my second? I don't know if there is a second, but uh, perhaps it'd allow you a handicap. Oh, boy. <laughs> I am the first. <laughs> Actually, this is the captain. Lieutenant Rugan, how can you hold your liquor? <laughs> I will admit I have not tried recently. Good. You're with me. Although I should have said normally in a glass, Captain. Look, just like the old duelers, we have a first and we have a second. You shall be my second. Be at the casino soonish. Indeed, Captain. Um, Computer, um, define soonish. An approximation of soon. <laughs> you asked. I see. Thank you, Computer. <laughs> Computer, Sorry. reboot. Which uh, way is it just face bombs? Sorry. Hang on. It, 
So what's happening here? Is Juisa trying to get the captain off the bridge? Uh, hang on. Uh, Juisa, on your terminal. Yep. Uh, sir, I'm uh, receiving a priority three message from the Kismet. Uh, it says, uh, Captain's Eyes Only. Probably uh, challenging you to that drinking game, sir. Out of character, what's a priority three? That's like, priority one is like top, top stuff. Priority yeah. two is like less top stuff, and priority three is like, hey, dude, what's up? Uh, yeah, priority three is more of like, hey, um, dude, what's up? Hey, hey we got you, a drinking you, competition. It's like, hey, you <laughs> hear this? Like, uh, you know, w whenever you can come and listen to this, please do. When it's convenient. But, but like, yeah, but like, don't don't break your neck if you're in the middle of something. I see. Uh, Chief, forward, forward it to my ready room. Uh, Lieutenant Rugan, go to the cafeteria and start prepping with Synthahol at once. <laughs> Synthahol? What? Look, we're Lieutenant out of the good Lugan, stuff. Lieutenant Rugan, if, if you know what's good for you, you will do no such thing. Oh, is uh, the doctor on the bridge mm -hmm. as well? Uh, sure. That's fine. I just had to... That's mm -hmm. fine. Aye, Captain. Preparing to get hammered. <laughs> Good. Um, <laughs> does the Hall have the same negative effects as real alcohol? Absolutely, no. absolutely none. Absolutely okay, well, none. So it, no, like, I, meant, I know it doesn't make you drunk, but does it harm your liver or anything? Uh, well, I think it can make you drunk, but it's the way it works somehow is like the chemical can, components in it like you can you can will you can will yourself to shake it off it's weird and they can just give you a shot that like completely kills the uh synthahol in your system it's the perfect warm-up i mean yeah it's the perfect system okay i'll go to my office then and check out the recording mm -hmm. uh, in that case gonna pop you over to the ready room Uh, it's it's not a uh, I I said captain's ears only, but actually it should have been captain's eyes only. Um, it's not so much an order, but more of a request from uh, from the command of the kis the command staff of the kismet um, to gather any um, uh, any material and uh, any material and data. Uh, that you recovered during your encounter with the Cowkits a couple weeks back. Uh, and, uh, I and, see. And, they and, want the stealth stuff, right? Yeah, and be prepared for a uh, in-person debriefing. With who? One Captain Harmon Grennan. Oh boy. All right. Uh, at my earliest convenience, the data will be gathered, and we will meet face to face for a debriefing. P.S. Are you attending drinking contest in the casino? X O X O <laughs> Lawrence. Uh, and specifically, it, 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 in addition to that, for the debriefing, he wants the people who were involved in the in the affair. PPPS, I will bring my command staff. Hmm. Then, um, uh, yeah, so, uh, Captain responds, no, I will not be participating. Too many things, uh, uh, too many pressing matters, uh, at the moment. Shame. But, okay, back to the bridge, um... I will inform the crew. Right, everyone who is here, we're going to have a debriefing later on about our stealth technology. That is, is it still currently installed on the ship, Chief? Uh, I'd say you guys probably uninstalled that just for safety's sake, and, well, there is also the ethical implications of the fact that the device currently has a living being inside of it. Yeah, I, I was going to say we better have it uninstalled it. Uh, no, sir. We uh, decided it was for the best to uninstall it until we could uh, review the ramifications of using such a device. 
Understood. Well, everybody, get your notebooks ready and prepare some notes. We're going to be debriefed soonish. Computer, define soon. Hmm? <laughs> She's making a joke. Oh. Oh, um, computer, oh. design soonish. Approximately um. soon. <laughs> Good. There you have it, crew. Approximately soon. Get your notes. Now, is that soonish before my soonish or after? Yes, Captain, is it a good idea for you to go and get drunk before you go and have this debriefing? Uh, as far as I understood, the debriefing can be done at our earliest convenience. Jim, did I get that wrong? Um, well, uh, I wouldn't say your earliest convenience. Yeah. Whenever we reading, can, I mean. Reading, reading the message was at your earliest convenience. Oh, this is a lot more important, is it? Yes. This is a, yeah. now that you have read the message, we, we'd like to get this, uh, we'd like to get this out of the way in a timely manner. Oh, my God. Um, this, this, is, got... this is my favorite type of ethical dilemma. Do you go to a drinking game or do you jo or do you do your job as a starship captain? Lieutenant Rugan. Hi, sir. Could you hail the casino? At once, sir. <laughs> uh, I assume that there's probably a, a well, actually, I, I assume Earth Space Dock would probably have an entertainment center. Oh, yeah. They, I'm sure it, they would. It's probably not a straight-up casino. But it's a bar. But, yeah, it's a bar. Yeah, there, entertainment like lounge. Entertainment lounge. Ahem. <clears throat> Barkeep, this is Captain Lawrence Jacoby of the USS Hadfield. Tell it to me straight. Is there a drinking contest? Give me a uh, presence <laughs> command uh, difficulty two. Oh yeah. And I'm going to gonna spend a threat to increase the complication range by one. Does my focus in uh, diplomacy, negotiation, gambling, hazard awareness? Uh, okay. <laughs> hazard awareness. Uh, I'm gonna say negotiation will, will work in this case. Do this. Yes. Why did I even make you do that roll? <laughs> that was dumb. That was dumb of me. I play a captain. I know how this works. How many momentum did we get? Just the one. Okay. Oh, I was wondering when you were gonna check in. I knew we had one more on the list. But, uh, keep it on the down low, will ya? Is it illegal? No, no, it's just not the kind of thing we want to be advertising, you see, yeah, you hear. Fine, fine. When does it go on? That's my question. Uh, well, we're probably gonna hold it in about, mm, well, it, hang on, I'm just thinking of the time, like, the timing of things. Well, it's currently only <clears throat> it's currently only five o'clock standard uh, standard Federation time, so you should have another three hours. Good. We'll keep in touch, barkeep. Uh, cut. Oh, sorry. Cut the comms. <laughs> See, sir, I told you I would never kid about such a thing. Oh, I have to reconfigure my faith in you, Chief. Good. Thank Everybody, you. prepare some notes then and put on your dress, uh, dress uniforms. We're going to a debriefing. Okay. I want you all at the transporter room and T minus forty-five. Okay. Um, by this time we have those fancy white uh, dress uniforms from the TNG movies, right? Uh, you might. Because I really like those. Those things are super cool. I like. I think them. those I are. I think those are only diplomatic ship ones. Uh, science no, because ones they wear generally them as a carry wedding. The... Yeah, but no. that's the dress. That's the dress uniform for a uh, certain uh, stuff. Yeah, for for diplomatic envoys and things like that. Because science ships will have the blue ones uh, generally as dress uniforms. So do we have those weird skirt ones that look like the TNG uniform then? <laughs> No, we just got fancy lapels on them. That's it. So you guys gonna go down to the transporter room? Yes, beam us over. All of us. We're gonna go get a debrief. Mm -hmm. Lieutenant Biss, transport us. Oh, okay. That's how we're doing this. All right. Um, <clears throat> hang on. Uh, let me find it. Oh, I'm 
actually surprised I get to use this. Um, hang on. Oh, no, not that. That. And then, oh my god, do I actually get to use this? I do! Uh, hold on a moment. I, I want to I wanna properly set this up uh, in advance of you your arrival. Uh, so it's all of you, right? Not all of us, because I said I will bring my entire senior staff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think everyone was involved in that mission. Yeah, we were all pretty much involved with it, so we'll each give a short recap of what happened. Also, it would be unfair for someone to be unincluded. Uh, yeah, with, with the exception of Valak, of course. Yeah, we could just say Valak is um, recovering in sick bay from or, injuries. Uh, well, or something. Yeah, either that or he's over, uh, helping oversee the repairs. And let me just pull in a kismet support that I want to be the one doing this. Uh, how about... Uh, hang on. I just have to decide who I want. Uh, for the purposes of this, I'll use... Yeah, you. Don't use me. I'm a human being. Shh. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. And... As you all materialize in a transporter room on board the USS Kismet. It's Kismet. Ah, uh, the, the smell of this ship. How old are you? Twelve? <laughs> Your what? character looks like he's twelve. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Because he is. I think that's just because they modeled him after his captain. <laughs> he does, he, I'll, I'll say it, the captain does kind of have a baby face. <laughs> Get a beard on him. Yeah, oh, I was going look, guys, to say... uh, it must be the captain's son. He's got uh, the captain's uniform on. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, it's bring your kid to work, Dave. Thank you, number one. It's so nice one. to meet you. No, thank you, number <laughs> one. Number one. Yes, because he's my... um. Number one dad. One dad. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <yeah. gasps> oh, one of the best jokes in that show. Oh, I love it. Oh, I, you know, a lot of people dislike that episode, but that's my favorite. It's, it's not my favorite, but it's that one of my favorites. Weird, man. <laughs> oh, <geez>. uh, <clears throat> so, uh, hey, Captain yeah. Grennan, nice to see you again. Nice to see your ship again in one piece, at least. Yeah, we've been uh, through the ringer quite a bit in the past week. Uh, you did a fine job out there. Well, our uh, contribution was marginal, to say the least, but thank you for the compliment nonetheless. We are marginal. ready for the deep end. Shh, we're being Sorry. humble. We're being Sorry. humble. <laughs> Do you know how many people I had to help save? It's not a marginal contribution, sir. We saved the lives of dozens of people. Yes. Shh, come on. I'm trying to be cool in front of the other captain. <laughs> I'm going to jive. Well, in the, well, in the grand scheme of things, we saved a lot more than a d few dozen. All of our ship sick bays have been working overtime with the survivors of the crippled and destroyed vessels. I understand, Captain. If there is any assistance we can render, please do not hesitate to ask. Oh, Dr. Efrix has things well in hand, and now that we're all docked at uh, ESD, uh, we've managed to transfer most of the most severe, uh, severely injured personnel onto Starbase, as, uh, and he turns to you, Doctor. I assume you have done as well. Yes, sir. Very good. Now, I uh, don't want to rest on ceremony too much. Uh, if you would all follow me. <laughs> Move the way, please. Did someone make it funny? No, no. Um, I, 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 I just had a residual laugh. 
guys. I'm and sorry. just in the background, uh, Kiji's going to be like, so I heard uh, there's going to be a certain lady at this drinking contest who's going to be really impressed if uh, somebody wins. I'm only interested in Beta Z women, Chief, because they can toy with your mind, not only with your body. Oh my. Did <laughs> you two oh stop eating cakes while you're on duty? Uh, sorry. It's in our uh, DNA structure. <laughs> oh no. Oh, you guys. You guys, I'm trying so hard. <laughs> I mean, when everybody else was hitting on the Klingon woman, I didn't. Because she would have oh. killed you. <laughs> I like the aesthetic of the Kismet. Um, the browns look much nicer on the eyes than the harsh grays of the um, Nova yeah. class. And then uh, let me pull up some of the people who would be on the bridge. Um, Is that a cow skin? Huh? And the chairs. Cow skin? Leather? Must be nice. <laughs> Uh, obviously, they would be replicated, sir. We don't slaughter animals in the century. Right, of course. But still, those look nicer than the ones we have. What are ours? Polyester? <laughs> well, you know, the ladies love the leather. Chief, <laughs> for the love of God. <laughs> in, the words of, in the words of Ricardo Montalban, rich Corinthian leather. Rich Oh my gosh. <laughs> Captain Grinnan, was this uh, your idea to uh, refit your bridge with uh, this nice leather? <laughs> uh, much as I wish it were, no, no, it came with it. Mm. I mean, we should make a formal complaint to Starfleet, don't you think, Chief? <clears throat> I believe we have more important things to discuss. Right, of course. <laughs> um, anyways... You've called us here for a debriefing. Shall we do this in your ready room, or shall we do it here in front of the crew? I don't mind e neither. Uh, if you would all follow me into the uh, conference room, it's a little bit cramped in my... Uh, it's, it would be a little cramped for all five of you in my ready room. Plus, I don't have a map for the captain's ready room, but whatever. Of course, uh, your conference room will do us just fine. I have to say your crew looks in tip-top shape. Commendable. Oh, thank you. We've been working around the clock, and, you know, he leads you into the conference room. Ah, lovely plaques. I like how I spawned on a chair. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Convenient. If you would, I'll take a seat. Right, of course. Um, who do you want to begin? Well, I suppose at the beginning I'm under the uh, impression, based on your report that was submitted to me, that you have encountered uh, Cowkit. That is indeed correct. If my chief engineer were here, he would also be able to confirm that uh, we have willingly performed a mind meld with a Cowkit. I see. That's a form of psychic interaction that we have not been able to perform with the cow kit before. Um, we have had psychic interactions with them before. My uh, previous late XO, for instance, uh, was the first one to truly interact with the cow kit as a psychic entity. Well, we strive to be the first in everything. Or at Forgive least me, sir, but I thought Commander Penn survived the mission. No. This was my XO before Commander Penn. <coughs> in, oh. in his first interaction with the Calcut, uh, before his passing, my, uh, Commander um, uh, Varro. Oh. I, I, I'm sorry. Uh, yes, I remember Commander Varro. We had to arrest him once. Almost. Oh yes, that was you, wasn't it? That was indeed us. It was a long time ago now, it seems. I was still a commander back then. And we still had, we had a different captain aboard the ship. Indeed you did. Anyhow, uh, I don't want to rest too much, uh, I don't want to dwell too much on the past, at least in the distant past. I want to know what you discovered. 
Um, very well. Let's start with the stealth device. Lieutenant Rugan, would you mind giving the captain here a short description of what the stealth device looked like and how it worked? Bye, sir. As it stands, as far as we were able to determine, the stealth device is directly using the power of the cowcat in some form. As, it stands, as, we, as far as we are able to tell, it is a, it is a small container containing one of the cowkit crystals sort of coming out of a piece of metal. I'm not, I don't actually have a very good mental picture of it, I can't lie. Um, Just winging, bro. <laughs> That's what I'm doing. You're doing good. Indeed. Yeah, you, a, as it's, you, you can easily pull up like a pad with a picture of it. Yes. And, and as it stands, we were actually able to use this not to cloak as we are used to, but almost to, it seems, to fa- look like we phased into another plane of reality, almost. The, re- the area around us changed, as opposed to vice versa. I see. And the, the captain appears deep in thought. And you, sti- and you still have this device? It is currently aboard our ship, yes, but uh, we have refrained from using it until we as my chief of security so well put it, uh, figured out the repercussions of the usage of this device. Very good, considering that the Calcut inside are living beings that would raise a number of ethical concerns. Now, what color were they? Um, Hassan Rugan, do you recall? Purple. They were sure red, and then they became blue? I'm sorry, this episode was like three weeks ago. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. Yes, they were red, uh, and then they became blue. And as soon as you say they became blue, the captain lets out a sigh. Oh, well, that's fortunate. I presume that means that they were willing, correct, Captain? Agree, yes. Uh, When the Calcut become blue, uh, they become much more cooperative and... uh, the um, and much more uh, willing to assist uh, Starfleet personnel in helping them preserve themselves, so to speak. Yeah. Indeed, Stop. it seems that asking nicely worked well. For I, once, I, I, couldn't I, put it, I couldn't have put have put it better myself. Um, um, Chief, would you mind giving Captain Grennan here the security report of what we ran into? Or who we ran into, at least? Yes, Uh, yes, sir. Something about uh, Klingons, right? Uh, Yes, sir. We ran into a nasty Klingon. uh, I believe it was a cruiser. Uh, Uh, I do still believe as well. And uh, we uh, barely managed to get away, uh, only... Um, really doing so because we used a stealth device uh, with the willing cooperation of the alien in question. Uh, we did exchange some fire, but uh, was mostly minimal, no damage on either side. Understood. And you have the identification of the vessel. That's good. That's a start. Uh, do you have any further information as to the identity of the perpetrators of this? Um, um, GM, didn't they name their um, house? Or am I misremembering? Uh, yes, they did name their house. Uh, there uh, was a house named. So could I tell them that? Uh, yes. Or, or was that part of the identification? Uh, yeah, well, yeah, that, that that's all been okay, part never mind. parcel with the, with the ship log data. Apart from anything you can find in our sensor data and the ship's log data, that is pretty much it. Our um, uh, encounter was uh, based mostly off of some of my crew going over there to help with repairs, and then later firing at each other. Uh, If I may ask, in this case, um, how did you get your hands on this device? That would be a perfect question posed for uh, Commander Volok, were he here right now. Doctor, you were with him, were you not? Um, no, sir. It was um, Lieutenant Rugan who received the device on his own. Lieutenant Rugan, how did you receive the device? (laughs) 
as it stands, so as it stands, um, they do believe that they be- they believe that I were they believe that I was an embedded agent, as it were. They believe that I were was working for one of their um, syndicates, as it stands, and they gave it over to me as they thought I was their contact. What would make them assume that? Uh, if I may just quickly interject here, Captain Grennan, um, there are very familiar ridges on his forehead. He is a Klingon. Uh, just, just out of curiosity, Jacoby, do you, do you know the actual reason why he was given the, the device? Because he's a Klingon, right? Yeah, I thought it was because he was a Klingon. <laughs> it's because my dad's a shit gun. Oh, oh, okay. Well, Captain Grennan doesn't need to know that your dad's a shit cunt. Oh, what? A shit cunt. Shh. Guys, swears. <laughs> yeah. Look, man, our 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 episodes are going to be rated PG-13. So be it. Beautiful. Uh, the C word is not a PG-13 word. Hey, oh, we're going to make it PG-13. It's right when I do it, because nobody can understand what the flying fuck I'm saying. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Wasn't me that said the F word this time. <laughs> so got right, him. Just focus. Okay. I'll so, say every other sentence. Okay. So what's the uh, what is what are you guys? How are you guys gonna answer that? Because the captain did just ask you, um, how how did they um, how did they come to that conclusion that Rugan was their contact? Well, I'm going to reply with because he's a Klingon, and then I'm going to look over at Lieutenant Rugan and with complete innocence in my eyes because I truly do not know that his dad's a SC and gonna say right Right yes. Mr. Rugan <laughs> What you gonna say Rugan? I'm thinking I'm thinking get the water spritzer <laughs> It would be prudent to tell the truth Indeed it would as it stands, I believe that they, um, I believe that my um, family house has a has acquired a less than honorable reputation as of late, and as such, they believed that, um, due to my due to my family name, that I would be involved in such things. I see. So you think that the house of Rugan might be connected to the Calcut, uh, <clears throat> this Calcut conspiracy? It is entirely possible. Truly? Why didn't I know any of this? Well, if this turns out to be correct, then it might be a good lead. I appreciate your honesty, Lieutenant. Indeed. As it stands, we can only hope to do what's right. That's all we can hope to do. Was there anything else, Captain? Um, yes. Now, as you may or may not be aware, the Kismet, and by extension, me, uh, is in charge of the uh, uh, inquiries into the Calcut and the conspiracy involving it. As such, um, <clears throat> uh, as such, uh, most information regarding them is to go through me. And, I and, received a communique that said pretty much the same thing, Captain. And Hensworth. now that I am aware that you have this device uh, in your possession, I would like to ask that it be transferred to the Kismet. At once. Um, what do you intend to do with it? Uh, would you also like the Calcut uh, crystal? Well, uh, presumably so. I uh, do not worry. The uh, doctor on board our ship is far more than qualified. Dr. Efrix is actually uh, the uh, foremost expert on the Calcut in the Federation. She's in charge of Calcut research. Well, then say no more. I'm, I'm sure the crystals themselves will miss the sight of my commander, but um, they will have to make do. Uh, we will transfer the stealth device and the crystals at our earliest convenience. You are still here for the next 10 days, is that correct? That is correct. We'll see to it that the Calcut crystals 
I, I will see to it that the Kauka crystals get repatriated to their people, and it's more likely than not that we might have to turn over this device to the Starfleet Corps of Engineers for further examination. But that, well, remains, that, that remains to be seen. I'll have to check with my superiors. At least on Starfleet Intelligence. Good. Is there anything else? Uh, well, as long as the files that you've given me here is, is complete and you note forward any further information that you may acquire to me in the future, I think that will do it. Good. Can we speak off the record now, Captain? Uh, you and I? Yes, and my crew here, they are, they, I, I count them privy to our conversations as well. The captain looks you up and down, and all of you, he sort of looks at each of the four of you, just sort of takes all four of you in, and again, it's weird, because this, uh, especially for, like, um, uh, uh, Dr. Maselli, the Zonin, Rugan, it's so weird. This guy is, like, maybe all of five years older than you. And he... I, 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 sorry. Huh? Oh, I was just going to say, it's not that weird. I just discovered that the captain's, like, two years older yeah. than me. I yeah. thought he was, well, like, 45. Yeah, anyways, I was going to say, I know he's young. I didn't think he was a five-year-old. Yeah, well... Yeah. Uh, <laughs> anyways, anyways, sorry for interrupting. So is Kiji the, the oldest person here? Yeah, the Kiji is the oldest man in the room. In, the, in this room of literal toddlers. <laughs> Um, and he just looks up all four of you and says, Understood. Speak freely. Good. There is a drinking contest to be held. I request, <laughs> formally request your presence, Captain. <laughs> the captain just laughs and he says, As much as I'd love to, I have far too much going on. I, as you may or may not be aware, my second in command is currently, um, uh, is currently comatose following the events uh, surrounding the Archon, and in the interim, I'm taking on the executive duties of of my second in command. But Captain, everybody deserves a break, and so do you. Should oh, it Captain. not be prudent at least to go with us for a little bit and toast to your uh, fallen comrades? Well. Not memory yet, but to his health, which we hope gets better. Uh, besides, sir, we are in space stock. Y yeah. you, you are not needed on this what ship. What could go wrong? Uh, look, can I try and roll a presence command on say, this? Yeah. So, give me a presence command. Contested? <laughs> Contested. A presence command for peer pressure. Are you going to spend I... any momentum? I'm can going to give you... I'm going to give you... Um, Three threat for two mm. additional dots. Which I'm then going to throw right back in to to buff uh, <laughs> the captain's role. Um, can I assist? Sure. Does my focus apply here? Uh, which one? Any of them. <laughs> Diplomacy, negotiation, hazard aware. I will allow your negotiation focus. Cool, cool, cool. I'm gonna reroll that one. Oof. <gasps> I'm gonna spend two uh, two momentum to negate that. Victory goes to the attacker anyway because I am the attacker in this case. The captain the captain crosses his arms and he says, "Understand, I'm not a man to drink, Captain Jacoby, but I there is that, that but lovely might... lady." I'm sorry. <laughs> Did I mention, uh, I know this really beautiful woman who is stationed here, and boy, does she think that captains who can hold their liquor, oh my gosh. Uh, the chief, not now. Uh -oh. Yes, you were, say you were saying, Captain. Please. <laughs> I'll see about poking my head in. I probably won't drink, but I'll say hello if I have the time. And I can introduce you to uh, my friend, if you like. Chief! Will yeah, Court Marshal, you were, we are on another ship. Good, Captain, Captain uh, um, <laughs> Yes, uh, we will Captain. depart to our ship now. Uh, your presence would be most welcome. Understood. You're all dismissed. 
Good. Oh, Let's get out of here before. My, uh, Chief. Message. <laughs> Let's get out of here before you say something else. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> I am trying with you people. Um, oh, I was also going to ask um, if I could speak to um, Captain Grenin in private. Oh, sure. Uh-oh. So, yeah, after the rest of them... Uh, so, the rest of them leave, and yeah, to, uh, Doctor, you could stay behind for a moment. Do you need Captain. something, Doctor? Uh, May I make a request? And the captain quirks an eyebrow. Uh, uh, of course, I, I will practice um, doctor-patient um, confidentiality, but I will tell you that Captain Jacoby believes that you are of a highly negative opinion of him, and if you reaffirm your if not friendship, at least professionalism and I'm trying to think of the right word here. Um, happiness with his service. Um, I believe he will be better for it. Presence command, difficulty two. Here we go. Would I be able to spend a determination? Uh, what value? I, I was thinking either um, every life is precious or uh, honesty is the best policy. Honesty is the best policy I'll give you. Awesome. So that gives me three dice. Because you're opening up here. Uh, I'll take the first two. You get a momentum. Awesome. So, he just smiles. He says, Wait, why would they get a momentum? Uh, Didn't I? Because you spent your determination to buy a die that automatically rolled two successes. Oh, And it was okay. difficulty two. My bad. Nope, you're fine. Okay. So I'm just taking those first two, and that one <clears throat> is a... That one success gives you a momentum. And okay. he just sort of quirks a smile that just sort of, uh, you know, just sort of flashes that stupid Captain Grin that, like, you see Riker pull it all the time. You see Kirk mm -hmm. pull it all the time. <laughs> and he says, oh, I don't think that'll be a problem. Thank you, sir. And then I, I think I'm just going to get up and leave. And was uh, Kiji successful in his mission? What was his mission? Uh, did you see what I sent you in private? Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> okay. Okay, okay, okay. I need you to give me a control security check. <laughs> control security. I'm gonna spend a I'm gonna spend a threat. Uh, can I use a determination self centered? Yes. <laughs> what is the difficulty? Uh, it's opposed. That's uh, opposed. Okay. It's opposed. Oh no. Uh, only those. Are, uh, victory goes to the attacker, which I think is you. Yep. So you do it. <laughs> <laughs> so um. Uh, so you guys all go your separate ways. Uh, Jacoby, as you guys are walking into the transporter room and get on the transporter pad on the Kismet, uh, you notice Jueza is holding a small golden statue of an NX-class ship in his hands. No. 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 And is... energizing. So we all see this, right? Yeah. And you guys are back in the transporter room on board the Hatfield. I'm gonna smack it. I'm gonna smack him on the. 
What? A little inner ship rivalry? Jesus Christ. <laughs> you don't do never notice. Don't worry. I'll keep it in a very secure place, sir. No, you should give it back. Sir, make him give it back. <laughs> Nobody notices anything. You're good, chief. I don't want to see this again or I will smack you. Yes, sir. Captain! Oh my god. Actually, I'm sorry. It's actually, no. Actually, looking at the ships on this rack, it's actually not a um, NX class. It's a Nova. Oh, I'll fit him. Suitable. Suitable. Very suitable. Oh. It was for the honor of our ship, sir. Oh my god. Just don't keep it in public places. Okay. They're going to notice it, and they'll have sensors in the room who will be able to determine that he took it. Mm -hmm. Then so, he will face so. the punishment on his own. Yeah, well, there will also be sensors in the Hatfield room that will determine that we all noticed it. Therefore, we will all be implicated in his crime. It's Determining a, that he has taken it is one thing. It is a small golden statue, guys. I think you can chill. Just let him keep it. A child. Uh, also, I'm going to roll for uh, to see if I get my determination back. Oh, right. Oh, God, you can do that. Nope. No. Uh, so, uh, I'm assuming then at some point by the end of the day, you are all going to go and um, uh, head out to Starbase then. Um, do I have any medical equipment I could use that will... Um reverse the effects of um, being drunk? Oh, yes, they're, they're absolutely, um, because, yeah, I think you heard me mention it. There are, uh, there are drugs that is, well, well, there are drugs that help with synthahol, uh, but, yeah, I, I think there are drugs that, that help you sober up from alcohol. It's a slightly stronger variant, I think. Alright, uh, could I bring some of those along? Because I'm concerned if my whole crew is about to go get drunk. Yeah, that's that's a pretty that's a pretty fair concern, I think. Yeah, I'd, I'd call that a fair concern. <laughs> oh god. Uh, actually, here we go. Um, I found the list. Yeah, I was looking too. I didn't see. Yeah. Oh, okay. Hmm. Yeah, probably. I don't think it uh, yeah, probably a small mixture of um. Uh, probably what you've got is um. A probably a minor mixture of dilavine and hydrocortoline, because the hydrocortoline is for headaches and the dilavine is uh, an antitoxin. Mm -hmm. And then I'll put it into um a um uh hyperspray, is that what they're called? Hypo. Hypo, thank you. Alright, yeah, that works. I just wanted to do that in case uh the captain gets wasted. Okay, uh hang on. So while you're doing that, um can you give me an insight security check? Me. Yes. Oh god. Kiji Kiji, give me a uh Control security check. Insight security. Mm -hmm. Um, do any of my focuses or talents apply here? <laughs> Probably not. Uh, security is my worst skill. Well, victory goes to the attacker, so that's Joyza again. So yeah, you see Joeza inside your sick bay for about 20 seconds when you first walk in, and then he leaves. Uh, you finish uh, cooking up your your hypospray, uh, and as you're walking out of the sick bay, you notice um, uh, in one of the little biostasis chambers, um, <laughs> there's a little golden Nova class statue. All right, I'm going to tap my communicator and call the captain. This is the captain, go ahead. Uh, captain, uh, can you come down to sick bay? 
I have a problem that needs your assistance. At once. I'll make my way down. You go down to the sick bay and you see uh, you see Dr. Maselli, um, I presume, ha- hands on her hips. And <laughs> yeah, just like looking a, down. Oh, like at a, a frustrated, buttery look. Like, yeah, looking oh down at a biostasis chamber, and inside that stasis chamber is a small golden statue of a Nova class ship. <laughs> Sir, uh, tampering with medical equipment like this is absolutely a um, court martialable offense. Doctor, it's our days off. I don't want to court martial anyone on our day off. Can you at least tell him to knock it off? Uh, Captain of the Chief Kiji Jueza. Uh, yes, sir. Chief, get down to the med bay right now. Right away, sir. And yeah, you go down to uh, sick bay, Kiji. Oh, oh, God, I have this. Good. Chief, stand at attention. Sir, yes, sir. Hands behind your back, Chief. Yes, sir. I'm gonna smack him on the head once more. Thank you, sir. Don't do that again. If you do this again, I will go above you, Captain, to push for his court martial. I will not accept any tampering of my equipment in the ICIC lab. I understand, Doctor, but it's our days off. Take a load off. Don't worry, sir. I'll uh, make sure I find us a good home, not in sick bay. Next time you do something like this, it won't be your head that's getting smacked. It's going to be your record that's getting smacked. Yes, sir. Good. <clears throat> Captain to Lieutenant Rugan. Aye, sir. Report to the transport room. We're going drinking. At once, sir. <laughs> So are we all going to the um, bar, or is it just those two? If you wish to cheer us on, you are more than welcome to come. I do not wish to cheer you on, sir. I want to make sure you do not, uh, how would I phrase it, um, become <laughs> wasted. <laughs> this ain't my first rodeo. Let's go. Oh, boy. <laughs> so... Yes, you guys all head over to Starbase. And I will kill the Voyager bridge sound effect and put on the I know I have a I know I have a space station ambience. Uh da, da, da. So we're going to like a discount quarks diner. <laughs> discount quarks. Um to Starship Ambience. Uh, that ought to do it. Okay, so yeah, you guys are uh, in the bar. Uh, I have to go check something real quick. So, uh, uh, just because I'm, I'm trying to find a name. Um... Uh, you guys do some interaction. Good. Let's go drink. Who else is there? Uh, Jueza comes shortly after you arrive. No, I mean, which other captains are there? <laughs> um, uh, are, are we showing up in uniform or? Flex. Or, you know, later hosen, whatever you want, whatever boosts your drinking experience. Yeah, um, Miss Sally's such a stick in the mud, she's gonna keep wearing your uniform. I heard later hosen are really great for drinking because if you spill anything on them, they'll just absorb it and become softer. Any case, yes, um, who else, uh, which other captains are there? Oh, you got Grinning. He said you'd come. Right, well, shall we get started? Give me a sec, I, yeah, I will be right back.
the folder. <laughs> you couldn't say. All right. Quick, is there a big old 31 on the shoulder? <laughs> <laughs> Not that you can see, no. Damn. It's like they, they only did that in the past. Come on. They're very discreet this time around. This time. Um, in that case, then, could I ping uh, Lieutenant Commander? We can pick focus. Like, you're basically choosing a focus to make a... Okay, with uh, oh, yeah, future call. A comm badge. Yeah, uh, the, yeah, you were able to use the comm badge and the communication system of the Pollux. Or the yep. caster. There you go. Yeah. It's a note. It's my ship. I'll allow philosophy. Warp 9. <laughs> I don't really like temporal agents. Jet Sao like, Mel, right? So. Jed Zhao Mel. Sorry, what was the name again? Jed Zhao Mel. G. Okay, I'm back. Jueza is uh, Bajoran, and Tizonan is Andorian, and Rugan is a Klingon. <laughs> I think you and I are the only humans aboard the ship. Okay. That's a good point. I did not consider. Uh, he also, well, you do have a couple NPCs that are human. Like, um, oh, remember good old Ishikura Yakumo? Sure. The one that got you, he's a human, got you trapped on a, on a holodeck samurai movie. All oh, right, him, yeah. So anyway, like I like I asked, uh, any other captains present in this bar ready for the contest? Uh, well, it's one of those things of I would say yes, but I don't know if the other captains would be there. Like the other ca player character captains would be there, <laughs> so I'm gonna say probably not. Oh, we could do a uh, a fleet action on this. <laughs> <laughs> Make it so. I mean, surely there are NPC ships and NPC captain. Oh yes, lots. But myself and Lieutenant Rugan will be applying ourselves. So let's do this. Sign us up. Oh boy. Uh, in that case, I need you to give me a. Uh, I'm gonna say this will be a. Fitness medicine check? Huh. Or May I medicine? argue for fitness command? Uh, yeah, I, I, I was old. just going to say that implies that I'm like the heaviest weight out of the entire crew. Fitness command. Fitness command. Difficulty of two. Alright. And I'm going to spend a threat to increase the complication range. I'm gonna okay. give that threat right back to you. Rugan, you're my second. If I start to puke, back me up. Hi, sir. I'll fetch the bucket. Hi, sir. <laughs> hey, that's a complication. And I only got the one moment. <laughs> Wait, I can reroll that because I, can g I gave you threat. Yeah. No. <laughs> What on God's green earth? Well, uh, yeah, so what I'll say is you manage to outdrink the other captains. They lose their lunch well before you do, but you also lose your lunch. I left the gun. Where's the bucket? Bucket prepared, Captain. So you have, um. you, have you have won the day, but, uh, yeah, Captain How did, uh, walks in and he sees you being rather green around the gills, and he just goes, Bucket smell deployed. a bad time. No, sir, <laughs> sir, it's not, and I'm just going to sigh and press the hypospray against, uh, uh, Jacoby's neck and, um, 
and trunk him. Oh, oh, that's. Oh. oh. Thank you for the tactical bucket, Lieutenant. That was my very helpful. <coughs> It was so, the bucket who made you not drunk. Yep. So, Doc, well, are you, are you gonna, um, we won. Are you gonna help him sober up? Yeah. Oh, I, did I not? Did you not hear that? I just said oh. I, I give him the hypo spray. Ah, okay. Uh, give Sorry. me a control medicine uh, difficulty of one. Uh, actually, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I want to make this funny. Um, uh, I'm gonna spend two threat to make this happen. Um. Jacoby, can you oppose that? <laughs> with, a con with a control medicine. No, 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 no. Control security. Sure. Um, does my focus in um, emergency medicine apply here? No. This is kind of an emergency. <laughs> this is not an emergency. This is, All right. This isn't an emergency. Uh, there's, uh, there's the roll. I botched it, so you're good. Uh, yeah, so that would even out, but Jacoby complicated, so I'm gonna say that he fails. So yeah, you you give him the spray, and you, yeah, Jacoby, you feel your head clearing up. You're gonna have a no, bit of a hangover, good. but... Thank you, Doctor. Well, welcome, crew, Captain. we won. Hip hip. Hooray! Hip hip. Hooray! Hooray. And hip, one hip. Of some of them are kind of, like, confused. Hip hip hooray! Hooray! Yeah. Captain Grant, it's so nice of you to join us in our moment of victory. Yeah. Yeah. And he sits down at the, um, uh, sits down at one of the tables, uh, with you, Captain. So, um, how are you holding up? As well as can be expected of any Starfleet captain, I suppose. Good to hear. I'm sure that this whole ordeal was rather tough on you, as it was on me. I may ask you the same question, if you don't mind. I heard the Kismet took a lot, um, well, bigger beating than we did. Uh, <clears throat> we didn't take much of a beating, not the ship herself, but our men on the ground absolutely did. I heard about Commander Penn. It's regrettable, to say the least, but he will at least be hailed as a hero in the days to come. Yeah. Hopefully he'll pull out of it. No, he definitely will. Stubborn Tellarite. Well, I have gathered as much from him when I was at the briefing with him. He's a tough one. He won't give up daddies. And the captain just sort of kicks his head back, looks up at the ceiling, and, um, Captain, you see Captain Grunin take a, take a drink. He says, that's what I said about Varro. Well, Varro lived a dangerous lifestyle. You can't be a man like Varro and expect to live. And, however, although his record also speaks of high risk, Luck seems to be following him so far. Let's hope that I'm not wrong about it, and it's I'll not, not It's him. not luck, Captain. And he, he gives a wry smile at you, and he's gonna say the joke that he said a million times before. It's Kismet. Oh, get the hell, get the hell out of here. Um, out of character, I don't get the joke. Uh, kismet is a uh, is an Arabic word uh, referencing fate. Oh. It's also the name of the ship and his username backwards. Yeah, I I know it's the name of the ship. Okay. It's also my username backwards. We said that. We get it. Oh my god, it is. We get it. Is wait, is that why that. it's called the Kismet? Uh, vaguely. There's a long, complicated reason that I'm not going to get into right now. Oh, okay. But... Okay, I'm sorry. But, um, I, I feel like an idiot with not realizing But I am the one sooner. who pitched that name for the Kismet. Yes. Okay. So. Nobody saw that coming. <laughs> so. Uh, just nods and he says. 
We do the best we can, Captain. We don't always make the best call. Sometimes we make calls, and he looks down, and he says, that get people hurt, or worse. It doesn't make many easier to swallow, Captain. No, it does not. But in time, we improve. We're young. We're young. We have time. If time is the only thing we have, then I'll drink to that. And he he picks up the uh, he picks up the uh, glass and he gives you a toast. He says, "To time." And to Commander Pend. May he pull out uh, pull out safely. So we're actually going to cut to a different part of the bar. Doctor, you're walking around when uh, you hear a um, you hear a voice say, "Oh, Doctor, there you are." Uh, yeah, I'm gonna turn around and see who said it. It's Jed Zalmel. Oh, the um, troll lady from the USS Enning. Yeah. Huh. Oh, it's uh, it's funny to run into you here again. Is the um, Enning also in Space Dog? Uh, yes, yes, and, you know, she nods, and she, um, you know, she's in her duty uniform, and she says, uh, but, but I'm also on shore leave as well, uh, just like most of the fleet. Um, I actually had something I wanted to ask you. Yeah, well, what, oh, oh, what, what can I do for you? Uh, well, you know, she sort of hushes down, and she says, I got an invitation to join a group of Vulcan archaeologists out on Vulcan excavating a site out in the forge and well uh, I figured I could bring along of uh, it would help if I could bring along a couple familiar hands I asked around on the anning but well everyone kind of wanted to take shore leave Um, I, I, I can't exactly give up my post as the chief medical officer. Oh, no, this is entirely while we're on leave. <clears throat> I have really? a post, I have a post to get back to myself, you know. Yeah, well, um, I don't have much of a family on Earth to get back to, so, yeah, w w why not? And if you have anyone you want to bring along, I would welcome the company. Yeah, I've, um, I've I've read your I've uh, read some of your reports and I'm quite impressed. I think your crew has quite the knack for finding things that are hidden. You could say that. Um, I will bring this up with my crew. Good. See you around. She gives you a wink and walks away. Yeah. All right. All right. Teresa just gonna smile back at her and then. Walk back to the group. Okay. So is there anything else any of you would like to do? I'm back. Sorry During about During the entire ten days? <laughs> I, uh, well, we'll get to that in a moment, but, um... Well, well um, cause... is this a setup? I was just going to ask. Is it set up for another game, or...? Indeed. So yeah. Okay. He, here's, for next week's game. Yeah, because here's essentially what I'm gonna ask. Uh, who does Teresa want to go to and ask if, if they want to go along with her? That depends. Um, probably Rugan because he's a science officer, and probably the captain because I think he needs something like this. Mm -hmm. If I also may make a suggestion, possibly. Would you like possibly Valak? Okay. Cause yeah, sure. Because re remember, you're going to Vulcan. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that, that would be handy. So, yeah, I'll say for the sake of a expedient scene, uh, you actually catch, um, you catch the uh, captain and Rugan on the bridge. Oh. Oh. Uh, Captain, uh, Lieutenant, um... May I ask something of you? Go ahead. Well, Rugan's not here, but I'll speak for him. He was called away. Oh, was he? Yeah, he just said so. 
Um, uh, Captain, do you have uh, plans for the next 10 days? Well, I was gonna maybe heed your advice and go down to Earth, but um, other than that, no. Why do you ask? Well, uh, I received an invitation from one of my old friends from my previous posting. Um, and I was wondering if you would be interested in a ar ar archaeological expedition to Vulcan. Vulcan? That's a yes. kind of ways from here. Uh, it's not that bad. It's let, let me pull up the map. Let me pull I, up the map. Where is I mean, that? in first contact, the Vulcans could do it with whatever limited warp speed they had back then. Uh, let me just pull up the map for y'all. Hang on. I just want you guys to be able to see it. Complete map. Um, you guys are currently at... Hang on. ESD, which is... Where's the... Hadfield is now up here. Not not literally right... Oh, god damn it. <laughs> Vulcan is right here. Earth is like. Yes, Earth is soul. Yeah, hold on. So it's. It is. It is, is 11 a, light years away. Yeah, that's nothing. Like, you could get a. You could get a. If you got one of, like, the faster shuttles, you'd be there in a day. So, hang on, out of character, let me get this straight. This is a setup for another game. Yep, yeah. and and you are, uh, and Captain, don't, don't, you're not beholden to go. This would be instead of next Saturday? Yeah, this is, yeah, this is the setup for next week. Do we not all go? Yeah, should I invite the whole crew? I'm confused. Uh, it, it, I, I'll say it now, it, it, this is going to be a split crew game. Oh. Uh -huh. So it might be a good idea to bring the people who you think would benefit on this mission. Well, if Valak is going to go, then it would be prudent for me to stay on the ship and visit Earth, perhaps. Make some reparations. Uh, understood then. So I, I think the split will be myself, Valak, and Rugan. We'll go to Vulcan, and then everyone else will stay home. Yeah, I'll stick around with these two troublemakers on my ship. Did we pick teams yet? <laughs> yes, we did. You're with me, boy. Whoop! Captain, um, would you like... Are, are you confident that you are not ready to speak to your family? Because we do not return to Earth often. That's why I'm going down there, Doctor. As you soon as I gather some more courage. You would like to speak with your family, because I thought earlier you said you did not. A lot of things changed from earlier. Mainly the influx of alcohol into my... Would you like me to fetch you another hypospray? I'm good. Thanks. Unless well, you've got a hypospray, it's a hypospray that gives me artificial courage, I'm good. Uh, GM, do I have a hypospray that can make him more courageous? No, no there is no such thing. <laughs> he can give me okay. adrenaline, but... Um, not, not the kind of courage I think you're thinking about. <laughs> um, give him some uh, PCP. He'll have all the courage in the world. Oh, no. Um, <laughs> I, I understand if you would like to do this alone, but I am a trained counselor. I, I, I can counsel you. It... Uh, as you go down, if you would like. Would you like me to go down and visit your family? Doc? This is uh, something I have to do alone, I think. That's fair. Well, I wish you the best of luck, then. Your wishes are most appreciated. And good luck on Vulcan. Thank you, sir. 
Okay. <clears throat> so, uh, would you like to do the uh, you going down to see your parents now, or would you rather hold off on that? Can I instead make a roll for this, and the roll will determine how well I do based on the amount of successes that I have, and then later I'll write a personal log about it. Sure, that, I'll allow that. Presence command. Or control command. Gee, I wonder what's what I'm going to pick. I know, right? Any of my focuses apply. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna say no in this case. I, I like the implication that he returns home to command around his family. Well, no, it's just the act of speaking to them. I, I, I was joking. <laughs> uh, I'll give you a threat to stop. And take a complication, uh, and ta I'll throw it back at you to increase the uh, comp range. Nito burrito, as they would say. Oh my goodness, I can reroll one of these. Hey, that's not too bad. Not awesome, but not bad. Which is probably about what can be expected. Okay, so do you want to give me a general impression then, so I can base my log off that? Well, they want to say they're happy to see you, but uh, they're surprised to see you, and well, they're not telling you to leave. Good. Thank more God. curious. They're more curious than anything about what brought this on. At least they're not like... Archon. <clears throat> huh? Fleet engagement. <clears throat> Archon. <clears throat> mm. Yeah. So, you probably don't get to that, given that you didn't, uh... You didn't roll super high. But... Uh, I'll, I'll write a sufficient log about it later. Yes, you will. Yes. Write a sufficient log about it. And I think our episode will end with... The Doctor, Malak, and uh, Rugan, and Jedzao Mel piling onto a tiny little Vulcan shuttlecraft uh, off of st off of uh, Earth space dock and flying off towards you know, Vulcan. I see. You know, I, I, I cannot possibly imagine this going on in the slightest. And that is where we end tonight's episode, Voice of Reason. In this case, I think I'm going to have to call this Voice of Reason Part 1. There was, there was no reason this episode, only boo. Only what? Only alcohol. Oh. Hmm. Uh, oh, boo. I thought you said boo. Because there's going to be, I think, uh, I think next week there's going to be a little bit of, uh, there's going to be a little bit of finish up role play with uh, Captain Jacoby, uh, the folks on the Hadfield, and then they'll probably go to rendezvous with you at uh, at Vulcan. Mm -hmm. So. Cool. And on the way we'll get jumped by pirates. Okay, and.